Hello and welcome to another episode of Paige Tries Things. So I've been trying out a bunch of different sodas over the past year or two and uh, we have learned that certain sodas should never have existed like ranch dressing soda. Uh, well my friend Aiden and uh, his girlfriend Liz, shout out to Pops 66 uh, on Route 66 in Arcadia. Um, so if you ever want to go to a soda shop, it is head to toe, wall to wall, different flavors of soda. Well, they brought me four different sodas and they brought it back long enough that I forgot which flavors they said they were and they've been in my fridge. Um, so what I did was poured them into different tasting glasses and I'm going to try to figure out what flavor they are. Um, so some of, I do remember that some of them sounded good and some of them sounded horrible and that's all I remember. Um, so I have four tasting glasses of four different sodas and I have no clue except for based on the color, um, what they might be. So I haven't smelled them, tasted them, and I don't know what the labels are and we will reveal them together. Um, so first up, we have this one that looks lime green like a Mountain Dew. It smells like cheese. This is definitely one of the bad ones, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing. Okay. It smells and tastes a little bit like cheese, like a blue cheese. But it also has a hint of caramel, like maybe they're trying to go for candy corn, but failed miserably. So uh, I did the three sip rule. The aftertaste is really caramely like candy corn and that is something that they would buy for me, um, but it's definitely not good. So let's do the reveal. I'm, I'm serious when I say I have no idea what these are. I just, I have them poured out like this and I kept them in order. So that one is butter, butter soda. Okay. Well, I definitely got the like creamy and it did kind of like get better with the aftertaste. Um, and the fact that I picked up on notes of cheese when cheese and butter are kind of made out of the same thing. I'm Pretty proud of myself on that one. Also, not nearly as terrible as like the ranch dressing soda, um, but bad and probably shouldn't exist. So next up we have this one. It's a little bit more yellow, a little bit more yellow than the, uh, than the butter. I know what this is immediately. It's pickle, pickle soda. I can smell it, tastes just like pickle. Ooh, okay, that's not bad. Um, I know some people drink pickle juice. This is like pickle juice carbonated with a little bit of sugar, but it's not overly sugary. So if you like pickle, it might be okay. Yep. Oh, our friend, our friend Lester from Lex Lester's Fixins. Y'all come get your fixins. Have some pickle soda. So uh, that was pickle soda. Now up next, we have this one. It's a little bit orangey, kind of a peachy color. Oh, it smells sweet. It actually smells good. Mm, it's got cinnamon. Now this got fall flavors, so it might be like a pumpkin spice or a candy corn maybe i just love candy corn still and i miss it already um but it's good what am i getting hints of cinnamon definitely hints of cinnamon maybe like a spiced apple no it's not apple what is it let's see it is <gasps> pumpkin spice i was right pumpkin spice tonic this is actually really good. This one's from Washington. Um, yeah, love it. Thanks for at least one good one. 
And uh, now we're going for this blue one. And I'm going to assume that it's good. I'm going to hope that it's good. Bubble gum. Maybe like blue bubble gum. Yeah, that's... Oh, unless it's cotton candy. Cotton candy soda. It's sweet and it's blue, so it's really only one of those two things. I'm gonna go with bubble gum, because I've had a lot of cotton candy flavored things lately and that doesn't quite hit that. Okay, now this one says blue cheese dressing, and that is just wrong because this tastes nothing like cheese. The butter one tasted like cheese, and this is blue, it's blue in color, but it does not taste anything like blue cheese. But I wanted to try something a little bit different. I had four different sodas to try, so here we have our lineup of pickle soda, pumpkin spice, butter, and blue cheese, thanks to Pops on Route 66. And thanks to Aiden and Liz, and uh, y'all have a nice night, and thanks for watching Paige Tries Things.